The Lewis Chessmen are among the most famous works of art of the Middle Ages. They're 12th century carvings in walrus ivory that were discovered in a kind of sand dune on the Isle of Lewis in Scotland in the 19th century. And the first group that were found, um, I'm not sure how many, but dozens were found in the 19th century and were acquired by the British Museum. And they're among the famous great pieces in the British Museum, among the most beloved pieces. My colleague, Barbara Bain, who organized the Lewis Chess exhibition, was talking to her colleague at the British Museum and some of these pieces were on loan traveling in Scotland and she had the idea that if they could travel to Scotland, why not here? The group of them that we have here set up in the Romanesque Hall of the Cloisters is the largest number that have traveled outside the British Museum. The game of chess originated in India in the early Middle Ages and then came through the Islamic world, Persia and so forth, and made its way to Europe. And by the 12th century, the chess figures were more or less um, as we know them today. In other words, had taken on more or less the modern, the, the modern game existed more or less as it is. And the queen, you know, really is the, almost the most important figure on the, on the, the most she, powerful figure on the board. Why is she worried? Why is she worried? Well, I'm not sure. It's, it's hard to say that she really is worried. To our eyes, it looks like a worried expression. It is true that in the Middle Ages, I guess as today, the hand to the face indicates a kind of concern, but I guess we can assume she's worried about the outcome of the power game that is being played. The figure called a berserker, who's biting his shield, which apparently was an indication of the way that the soldiers, the knights, got so revved up before fighting that they would almost you know, bite, bite their shields or whatever. So I think it was certainly played not only by kings, but by nobility and the upper classes. I would guess it was probably not played widely by what we might call ordinary people. It's just a very rare and actually so far unique opportunity to have a group of very appealing, very famous, very important medieval works of art that really fit very neatly within our own space so that we don't have to disrupt our own installation too much. And once we decided that we could do this here for the first time in a long time, we then started looking for ways to educate the public. That's one of the reasons why people think that they could have been the first soldiers, right? But the other, reason, other thing that people sometimes think is that maybe the pawns were like the peasants in the Middle Ages. In the Middle Ages, 90% of society was not a bishop or a king or a knight or a queen. 90% of a society was a peasant, a person who had to work and farm the fields in order to put dinner on the table. We worked hard to accommodate school groups, to educate the public of all ages about the Middle Ages and medieval art, but certainly something like this chess in the schools is, is unique for us.